Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time, I took this photo. <laughs> Here's a photo that I took um, as I was walking to the post office because I was uh, posting some paint actually uh, that I sold. And, uh, and yeah, I'm sold out. <laughs> because I haven't got any left. I need to use it for myself. So yeah, so I thought I would, I, I always carry a camera, because you never know. And I really like this scene that I walk, because this tree, it goes really yellow in the uh, early summer, uh, and it's quite amazing. So let's have a go at this, and uh, I'll put that picture there. Of course, we're using it as reference only. I'm not using it as a definite design or anything like that. So, well, what does uh, I'll just use a bit of blue? And I'll just draw in the basic shapes of things, like the main parts of like what this tree that's about here, and then we've got a tree here. <laughs> is in my drawing on the, in when when I'm painting and my drawing is you know it's very uh basic <laughs> and in fact when I'm drawing normally the skill level is very basic <laughs> I've never been a uh, fantastic drawer. It's just one of those things you've got to keep working at, I suppose. One day, maybe, I'll get good at it. But at the moment, not so much. So I focus on painting, which is what I enjoy more than drawing. So I was thinking, actually, I got told by this artist many years ago when I was a kid. Uh, this was a really good painter. I didn't know at the time. Uh, he was working as a uh, supply teacher. But he was a phenomenal painter. Not one for selling paintings really though. Not really bothered about being known. Just uh, likes to paint. And. Uh, There's a horizon that's along there. Yeah, and he said to me when I was a kid, <laughs> I was in the maths lesson, and he said, because oh, uh, I saw him sketching, and I was like, whoa. And uh, I says, oh, are you an artist? Wow. Um, I want to be a painter. He says, oh, you can't afford oil paints, though, can you? And your parents won't be able to afford them said no. He says, well, you can afford a pencil and paper. You should draw. And uh, it's a fair comment. <laughs> he said it to help, let's be honest. And uh, I've just realised I don't want that to go there. Uh, This all goes right down, doesn't it? I want it to look like we're almost on the path. So maybe that would work better. We'll see. As we go, we'll see. Yeah, and he says, oh, you should get some, uh, get, get a pencil, get some paper, and do some painting, and uh, sorry, do some drawing. I says, well, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm not find it hard, I'd rather be a painter. And uh, I didn't take his advice. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking if the advice is valid or not. It's better than not doing anything, which is good advice really, isn't it? Because my other option was to not do anything. <laughs> 
anyway. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. So, here we go. Titanium white, Naples yellow, chrome yellow, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, burnt umber, viridian green, sap green, all on the palette. What I'm thinking is shadow colours. I'm going to use lavenders in my shadows. Highlighting colours. Yeah, Naples yellow, the chrome yellow, the white. We've got the greens which we can mix in. The brooding green and the sap green. And we've got the browns if we need them. Probably for this bit of field over here it's brown. So I'm just going to make myself some sky out of the blue, ultramarine blue and white. And we'll start putting in our sky so we can relax, paint away, enjoy ourselves with our sky. Yeah, so I was thinking, you know. I didn't really listen to him. I thought, well, I don't want to uh, be an, a drawer because I can't draw. <laughs> I can't do it. But I feel like I could paint. I felt, always felt like I could do paintings. I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know why. I suppose it's your own uh, instincts, like some people know they could learn an instrument, they really want to learn an instrument and they do it. I felt like I could paint and I really wanted to learn and I wanted wanted to get good at it. So I told him <laughs> and then I saw him again another time um, and he was painting away at Brayford. This was many years later and I says, oh, I remember you. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was one of the teachers, supply teachers. And then I saw a program about him after he'd uh, passed away, and they, uh, they showed his paintings, and his paintings were masterpieces. <laughs> See, not all artists out there want to get recognition. There's a lot of uh, phenomenal painters out there that stay hidden and they just like painting and the paintings will probably only become unearthed when they pass away and stuff gets sold and things. Interesting. So I'm just throwing in my blue Thinking of shapes, not really um, too worried about anything at the moment, just enjoying myself. I've got a tree here that I like, which I might just put on the top. And this. We'll just put it on the top of that. We can use a lot of paint for this. It's going to be quite impasto looking. It's funny because when you take your pictures, you take your photos, the skies always look awful because they blow out and you get really good land. But then sometimes you take your picture and the uh, you get the sky perfect, but then everything goes black. <laughs> you 
need a camera with really good dynamic range, don't you? The best camera, in fact, is your eyes. And then you've got to use your memory. <laughs> it's when someone said to me, uh, he goes, well, you know, you do know your eyes don't actually see, don't you? I said, what? He says, well, your eyes don't see. Your eyes are just a tool. It's the brain that's seeing, not the eye. <laughs> Right, oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Right, we've got a few trees over this other side. Go a touch light over there. So my uh, canvas, by the way, <laughs> My canvas is uh, covered with some acrylic. Uh, I, what I did, because I stretched this canvas on here, and then I um, I put some white gesso on it, and then uh, wait for it to dry, and then I covered it with another thin layer of white gesso. <laughs> and waited for that to dry. And then I made a mixture of um, uh, vermilion red, some uh, yellow ochre, <laughs> and some uh, burnt umber. And I made my mix, my sky mixture. I think I might put a big cloud in there. Some more of the ultramarine blue. Okay. So if, what you'll notice is that I'm uh, using brush strokes in different angles because I want to create movement in the sky that doesn't um, become too static. So we've got brush strokes going up here, we've got brush strokes going up there, we've got some going this way. So. Ultimately, it should look better than a blocked colour, personally, my personal thought. <laughs> so before uh, someone attacks me, yeah, <laughs> and goes, oh no, 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 this, this and this, I've done this, this and this, you should do this, this and this. Yeah, so recently I had someone send me this long message saying that, my paintings look like they've been done by a little kid. In fact, he said, I've taught people that were 13 and 14 and they could paint better than you. <laughs> this is on one of my recent videos. And I said to him, I said, well, you must be a good teacher then. You must uh, have a good talent. So if you could uh, start making some videos so we can learn from you, that would be great. <laughs> um, whether he was being truthful or not, I don't know. But then uh, he says he's not going to make any videos. <laughs> they never do. I don't understand why people need to send hate towards other artists and I, I said to him he says oh I can tell you haven't been to uh, art school so I said no I haven't had the luxury of going to art school <laughs> I mean, 
That's not a way to attack someone for their lack of education. That's a background way of thinking, isn't it? You haven't been to art school, that means you're no good. That's a load of rubbish. And if anyone says that to you, you just ignore them because it's a load of rubbish. I say ignore them, it's hard to uh, ignore people that send you nasty messages, really. I know people say just ignore it, but it is annoying because it's not helpful in any way. And uh, I don't know why they feel the need to do it. All the only way I could think of is jealous. <laughs> Tell us that they haven't got a YouTube channel that the videos on it, I don't know. Who knows? We won't worry too much about it because we've got paintings to do. Right, so I'm putting in some dark for my clouds, my cloud colour. So my cloud colour, I'm not sure if I mentioned that I was uh, kicking off. <laughs> <laughs> so my cloud colour is uh, this are in crimson and blue, and then a little bit of the uh, burnt sienna, and I got quite a nice cloud colour that I liked. A little more cloud up here as well. So a lot of the time I use my brush like this and I use it like that because you can do more with it. You can twiddle it. <laughs> twiddle the brush. You can, uh, you can use it like this so I can load the paint on and then load the brush and put loads on. And you, you can do all sorts like that. It's quite amazing really. So I'm going to make a lighter colour now. Get some of that Naples yellow in my white. I'll show you what I mean. So now I've got paint on it like this. If you can see that, it's quite a lot of paint on it. And now I can sort of, like there, maybe there's some light. Need more paint than that. There we go. It's a proper brush load of paint. I want some light in my sky. Colour. You can mix it up if you want to, you can play, you can change, you can do anything you want to do. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of painting, isn't it? The fact that you can do anything with the practice. I'm going to lighten this up here. Just always sort of sit back, have a look at your, your work. Do you need to change anything? Do you need to blend anything? Do you need to leave it? Is there... Do you need more? Sometimes it just needs a bit more. Sometimes it needs a bit less. You've got to work that out yourself. That's the beauty of it. So you're in control. Ain't being in control of your own painting. <laughs> that does make me laugh actually because sometimes my paintings go out of control. <laughs> 
and I can't bring them back. I lose them. But then you just do another one. Scrape it off or rip the canvas off in a Mardi. <laughs> just go and rip it off and then uh, do another one. Always do another one. So you don't have to worry. There we go, I quite like that sky. So quite a lot going on in it. So with my dirty brush, still a dirty brush, I'm gonna put a little bit of sap green here. I'm gonna use this brownie green. And while this is quite faint, I'm going to use it for our background here. And all the way along here, we've got some trees way back. See, I'm using the brush like that. I'm not too worried about it because it doesn't matter. It's a long way off. Some of that red will poke out, and I'm alright about that. little bits of yellow in it here and there okay we'll leave it at that now I'll still dirty brush burnt sienna Put this yellow Put the Naples yellow get a nice sort of uh, brown colour put that in there And then uh, what I'll do then, just wipe my brush. Just wipe my brush. It's funny, when I was out painting, there was this really yellow yellow. <laughs> there was a really yellow yellow strip. And uh, I was like, that can't be right. It just looked so yellow like this. <laughs> and I looked a couple of times and I was like, no, it really is a really yellow, yellow strip. <laughs> it's just the way the light was hitting it and it... I just picked up a bit of sap green then, just to add a darker green. Just to break some of it up. Okay. What's that? Now we've got these trees here. We'll paint them and we've got this big mass of a tree there which we need to paint. Uh, I think we'll paint the mass tree first. So what I'm going to try out for a change, I'm going to try out um, some blues and reds. Blues and reds is my shadow. So I like to try things out. I like to try different colours for shadows. If it doesn't work when we try it, we change it. We do something else. So all we're doing is making a nice dull blue. Dull, 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 dull blue.
can go up to about there. Wiggle, wiggle this brush up like that. Up to there. Okay. Yeah. So we'll try this same colour in these. Mm. See, my brain is fighting this idea. <laughs> my brain is saying, no, that's not the right colour. So I'm going to try and ignore my brain and carry on. We're experimenting, trying out new things. Blocking this in here, put this dark colour in. It's funny, your brain is always battling. <laughs> Especially when you start getting creative, you've got your sciencey part of your mind that's saying no this is exactly this colour this is what we should do this is how my brain works anyway and then you have the other part the creative going oh no I want to try this out this is going to be amazing this is going to break artist grounds <laughs> we need to do this time for us to push out from what level of painting we was doing before and we can go to new heights of colour and ability and this is going to change our lives the world is going to see this and they're going to go wow <laughs> it's intriguing me so far what would be good just went into a bit of light and thinking maybe could do of the same colour in here. Some of these areas. Quite like that so far, actually. I do quite like that. Right now, over here we've got like a brown, so we need to put that in. Use this dirty brush. It's got like browns on. So I'm going to get a uh, burnt umber. Burnt sienna mix, burnt umber, burnt sienna mix, and we can that there, that there. We can start blocking this in. Blocking it in. Let's 
blocking this in. Trying to stop the uh, easel from falling over. <laughs> See, this uh, red, I don't mind it showing through because it works quite well. Blocking it in like that. Saw the tree. Got another tree that grows up here. This will be interesting because <laughs> we'll start off with this colour again. So that one grows here. This one grows here. Blue and ultramarine blue and crimson. We'll start it off with. I think it just finishes there. Just filling in our darkest bits. So you could do yours do a tree that you know or you can do the same or do whatever you like you don't have to copy you don't have to do the same you can do your tree the way you want your tree to be okay and we've got our shadows Shadow room here. <laughs> I'm throwing in some blue. The shadow is different, it's where it goes there and then there. I just painted my microphone. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Let's get some. We need to start. Um, well, we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. So let's get cracking on this. So got some yellow, chrome yellow. Let's mix it with a bit of the sap green. Let's have a look at that. Could be a good grass green, couldn't it? So up down here. Put some green down here. Da 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 da. Back here. Like this. And that goes also on the other side. And then there to there. We've got our path. 
and then it goes back to there. Well, I might bring that around that like that, and then down like that. Still uh, not 100% sure on my blue bits, but we'll keep this going because we can't um, learn if we don't do stuff that's different. Yeah, some chrome. Grabbing, uh, grabbing chrome yellow and the uh, Naples yellow, so I'm not using any white for that part. And I'm going to go along here. I do quite like that bluey colour. I feel like it's just not giving me the effect that I want. So I think I'm going to change it. I've been battling with my mind for a while. whether it's correct or not and I just feel it's not giving me enough it's just not giving me enough so I will make sure I make a change yeah it's just not it's not giving me enough <laughs> Never enough, never, never enough. <laughs> right, so what I think is I need some green and brown under this colour. Some viridian green and a bit of brown. And then I can start going at even darker in places. Just mix that in with it. I think I can get more, yeah, definitely. And it's a good blend of colour, I do like it. I just needed that extra bit of depth in the colour, uh, for me anyway. But it's good to experiment, isn't it? Good to try things out, and if it doesn't work, well, Maybe for this painting it won't, but the next one might. I just don't know. I do, I do like it still, with. Uh, with that sort of purpley look to it. I'm 
and this one. Get a few of these leaves in. There's darkness here as well. That's definitely better, definitely. Just needed a bit more involved. Right, let's uh, look at this path. Maybe a bit of the old Naples yellow in this will work. That background needs a bit of a Helping hand. <laughs> hmm, that's a bit better. And then it goes a bit darker in there, so I'll use a bit of the that colour. And then back to the Naples. yellow and the burnt sienna and there just grabbing more paint just to uh, That's better. I prefer that. In that shadow, where our green is shadowed as well. Use the strokes that we want to use. Use the strokes that you want to convey. I like that. We've got um, an upward movement here. <laughs> See, I could, I could consider everything to be movement now. I always think of movement. Sure, why? I suppose because the grass and the everything, it's all waving, isn't it? It's all moving all the time. It's not static, it's, it's moving. I try and think about that as I'm painting. Um, but there is a movement, there is. There is change. So I just went into a bit of burnt sienna in with my green there. For that bit.
some areas I've got more green I'm just going throwing one green from green from another <laughs> just changing it um, what I need to do another thing I need to do which I haven't done yet I need a uh, let me get a bit of the crimson a bit of Naples yellow maybe a bit of the white yeah that's quite nice to do this field that's behind it's coming along here it's actually uh, got loads of haystacks on this field now looks awesome I took a picture in the uh, in the evening to see And it looked pretty good. It did look pretty good. So we'll uh, somewhere I'm trying to dodge this tree a little bit maybe should have painted it beforehand but oh, that looks quite good That actually looks all right. I don't mind that. Okay, now what I could do is put in some small leaves. I use a smaller brush. Get some of this chrome yellow. Chrome yellow and get some of these leaves in. I'm going for just chrome yellow, almost pure chrome yellow. Well, it's pure chrome yellow, but it will mix a little bit with what we've got on there. So, just keep loading your brush as you're using it. Load a bit more. I get these leaves on the outside of the tree. And you could mix these to the perfect color. I just felt like the pure yellow is going to stand out more on that tree and it's gonna look, to me it, it'll be better for me <laughs> I always say for me because it might not be like that for you and your painting might be different I feel like there should be a should be a branch there as well I'm 
I quite like that. I'm going to put in a bit more green in my colour and just put in a few there. I do like that. I start getting so involved in the painting, I, I do forget, <laughs> I forget everything. I think that's why painting's so good, isn't it? <laughs> If you want to escape the uh, the world of paying bills and people shouting at you, which happened to me earlier, <laughs> there I was taking pictures happily, not causing any problems. And some bloke winds the window down and shouts at me. <laughs> Humans, hey, humans. Right. Alright, let's have a look. I'm gonna break this a bit. Just to show you my palette again. It's getting a bit messy on here. <laughs> Just getting some yellow in with this red. Makes a different sort of colour. And then you can throw in green as well. Just changes things about a bit. So then you don't have exactly the same all the time. It's a bit awkward at the bottom of that. I'm going to have to move my uh, painting a little bit. Before I do that, just mix in a green. It's different. It's all the bluey, greeny colour. A bit different. a bit more yellow maybe and we can start doing this here because <laughs> this tree it's got catches a little bit of the light at the top Just a little bit of it there as well. I'm going to bring it up a little bit in contrast. Too much, keep it quite dark still because that's what it's like. I might get some Naples yellow and just lighten some of it a bit more. Let's have a look at this around there. What we could do with is some use this brush. Can we get some brown? I've got a few posts. A little bit 
bit of light. Another post about there. And there's another post there. And there. And there. Run out of posts there. <laughs> so when you're putting posts in, something you got to think about is the distance changes. So you start off with these really big, uh, wide distances, but then they get closer and closer and closer and closer because of the way you're looking. I'm not going to mess around with them too much actually. Don't do. So we've got grassy stuff to put up against them. Which I'm going to start doing now. Grass, grass, grassy stuff. Hoping, what I'm hoping for is a look that makes you uh, think that you're on this. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. I'm trying to get a look like that. Uh, what else do I need? I need a bit of sky colour, a bit of that. Blue and white. Let me just break this there. See how you can break up the mass by doing that. And I've also got to do a little bit of this there as well. Just a bit of green in there, not too much, but just enough. And there's a tree here, and because of the uh, darkness there, I can put that tree in right in front. A, uh, a shadow. Let's go with it. <laughs> Quite like that. I might leave that like that. Usually get the area at the bottom where the grass couldn't cut around the tree. <laughs> so now I might um, put a bit of brown in here. Adds a bit of warmth. Like that. A bit of the uh, light yellow. And here. A little monks here. So you can go from uh, dark patches like that to light where the, the light's hitting. 
and then you get areas of dark. There's a lot to look at in nature, there really is. It's really, uh, it's really a job, isn't it? the way it's coming out. A bit more the yellow. So I'm literally letting the paint almost just come off there. A little bit of the orange in with my paint, just a variety. And then uh, decision and decide if it's what we like is it are we finished we need to do more Do a few more dark spots there. looking see how you can improve it quite like that do quite like all the movement in that actually I'm just going to move this around a bit yeah I do quite like that Just to uh, show you something, <laughs> I'm tempted to put some blackbirds in it actually, because I always see blackbirds. Well, wouldn't it be more interesting if I was in it? <laughs> I always want to paint a little version of me in my paintings now for some reason. So maybe today I was wearing light blue. There I am. I was wearing light blue and a orangey yellow t shirt, maybe. I'm a bit too big. Mm, that is too big. Oh well. We'll get rid of me. I don't think it really needs me to be honest. Just want to twizzle some strokes in that.
Yeah, I think I'll do. I think I, I do like that. The only problem, because we're, we're always looking for stuff that we can improve on, and the only thing I can see is this tree is probably a little bit, needs a bit there. For it to, yeah. Let's put in some birds. Like I said, I always see blackbirds over there. So a bit of blue and brown. And there. Maybe there's one on the ground. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's a uh, little bit impressionistic looking <laughs> painting. Uh, I enjoyed myself actually. I could keep going forever and ever and uh, this painting will just keep keep adding stuff and adding stuff but at some point you've got to go. I think I'm there. For this one, I think it'll do. I've got another idea for you coming soon. But for now, I'll say thanks very much for watching this episode. As always, I always see more to do. I'll stop now. <laughs> So thanks very much for uh, watching this episode, hope you enjoyed it, hope it gives you some ideas and gets you inspired to paint your own painting. So I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.